Hey everybody, I'm the Bigglesworth, and I have something cool to show you today. Have you ever wanted to store a lot of items, but you didn't want to build a huge building above ground? You just wanted a small building, but you still wanted to store a lot of stuff. Well, I have come up with a new, cool, very simple redstone build that you can use. And here it is. Check that out. So let's go over and look at it. Now the way this build works is we have three chests we're going to interface with on ground level. We've got a little stair right here just so we can access the bottom chest. And then we have these two chests up here. On the right, we can see it's empty. And this chest is going to be the item retrieval. This is going to be the items that we're desiring to pull out of the system. Over here are dummy blocks. This is what we're going to use to push the items to the system. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to take about half stack of cobble. We're going to put it down here. And as you can see, these are disappearing. They're going down in the system. And check this out. We're retrieving carrots. We're retrie retrieving carrots because pigs love carrots. <laughs> and if you look, the items are filling back up in here. Now when I open that chest, because it's a trap chest, it'll stop filling up. But if we look over here, now that we've reached 32, we'll look back, and we've got our cobblestone back. Now the way this system works, it's very, very simple. It's basically we're modifying a mumbo jumbo item elevator design. And I'll have a link show up on, on screen so you can go check out his video and different versions of item elevators that he has. But what we're doing is we're allowing items to come down in this chest. They go into this dropper, set off this system that will push the items back up. But at the same time, we're pulling that signal and causing a second item elevator to push items to the top as well. So items that will be underground here that are being stored can be retrieved and pulled up to the top. And the cobblestone that we're using to operate the system will be recycled and brought to the top as well. So now that you've seen this very simple little build, let's go ahead and build one for ourselves. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a 3x3 three three area, placing a comparator here, right clicking to put it in subtract mode, and then two comparators pointed this way. Put a redstone repeater here pointing that way, and a solid block here and here. On the right hand side of this solid block, we'll place a redstone torch, and over here, two pieces of redstone dust. Now I'm going to extend out two dummy blocks right here for now and we're going to bring up four hoppers pointed up. You can make this as tall as you want. I'm just going to go ahead and do four. Depending on how high you make this, this is going to change how many uh, hoppers you need and how many droppers you will need. We can go and delete those. Now from here, we're going to place a hopper pointing into that dropper and a hopper pointing into the dropper there. We'll place a chest on top of here, and this is going to be your items that you're storing underground. You can build whatever kind of elaborate storage system you want and have it come to this point to feed up to the system. From here, we're going to go two hoppers up, and we're going to place a trap chest on top. Actually, we'll place a regular chest there. We'll place a trap chest here and a regular here, and now we have our interface system. From the back here, we're going to put hoppers like this, and as items get pushed up through the dropper, they'll get pushed in the hopper and go into the chest like that. Now all that's left to do is add our redstone torch tower right here. So we're going to place a torch there, blocks like this, and then we're just going to alternate torches back and forth like that. And that's pretty much the redstone build right there. Now, like I said, I've gone ahead and made a wall and a floor right here, and I've got a stair facing this way, just so that we can reach the chest. Now, you could have a solid block, and if you look, you can still access that chest, but I like having the stairs there better. It makes it easier to reach and easier to use. And there you go. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to want to prime the system, and what I mean by that is... Some of the items are going to get stuck in these droppers. So if you notice, if we go here, we're going to choose six items and drop them in, and they're going to start going through, and they're going to start getting pushed up to the top. System stops, but look, we've only got four. That's because two items had to be left in the system. We'll do the same thing here. We're going to put in six items. We're going to 
get our six items here, put them in the system, and it's going to push items up to the top, but watch. When everything shuts down, we don't have all six. So you'll need to make sure to prime your system, and you will lose a few items. The taller the setup, the more items that will stay in the system. But once it's primed, however many you call here should show up in this chest here. Now I'm going to have a, a link to a world download so that you can download this for yourself and take a look at it and see it in person. You can use it, interface with it, just in case you're having problems with the tutorial. And this is how to build my underground storage system. Nice, simple, and easy to use. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that you learned something new about Minecraft. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials as I release them, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and keep on building.